temperatures low to mid 70s across the area. Thank you to our weather watchers. They're keeping an eye on things. We certainly appreciate that. Earlier, we had some photos of some downpours. We also love that. And of course, some bright flowers. Rachel and I, we are both wearing our floral dresses tonight. And then bright colors, yes, from Donald Green Jr. So kind. We appreciate that. The radar here. So, Maryland, we're getting off pretty easy at this point. As we look to the north, that is not the case, though. So, soaking rains are just really being dumped over portions of southern New England and northern portions of the mid Atlantic. At this point, you can see the flood warnings in effect, a cluster of them at this point, all thanks to what is left over of Henri, now a tropical depression here. And we're watching this move now eventually taking this turn here east, moving offshore. However, it's going to take a while before it finally leaves New England. It's a slow moving system. That is unfortunate as for how much rain it is going to continue to dump over the same areas. So, definitely the biggest threat right now is that flooding. 76 right now at BWI, 76 for Annapolis, low 70s in Westminster and the dew points. Yes, it is a muggy night for sure. Now, as we take a look at the rain that we could see, so keep in mind portions of Pennsylvania covered. So I think the tail end of that could move through portions of Maryland as the night goes on. Monday, we start off really not too bad. There are chances for some afternoon thunderstorms. I think we're going to end up being mostly sunny. So starting out maybe more like partly cloudy and then we see clearing as the day goes on. So it is going to be a beautiful day, but again, it's a warm one, it's a humid one and we have this chance for afternoon thunderstorms. Tonight dipping down into the low 70s and then tomorrow. So that high of 89. Brace yourself though, it is not going to feel like 89. It's going to feel much more like the mid 90s once we factor in the humidity. Then the big weather story is the return of the 90s. So intense heat and humidity taking over once again. So 94 for Tuesday, 95 record territory for those days. It's not just the heat though, it's also the humidity. So we're talking real field temperatures. We're going to be back into the triple digits, unfortunately. Uh, you'll notice there by the weekend, that's when we finally get a cool down. But of course, we do have to deal with some storms before we can get some of those cooler temperatures. So yeah, unfortunately, even if you weren't in the mood for the return of the 90s, they are back. Rachel?